Hey guys, Jason here with Rising New Moon Studios, and today I kind of wanted to do what I like to call a shop and tell. And uh, shop and tell is a term that I borrowed from another YouTube person that I watch, and her name is Candy Johnson. K-A-N-D-E-E -E Johnson. And she's a beauty, fitness, health, makeup guru, and she's a lot of fun to watch, fashion, beauty, all that good stuff. Um, so check her out on YouTube because she's really fun to watch. So, um, she does something on her show called the uh, a shop and tell, which is basically like a haul, like a makeup haul or a fashion haul or whatever. But she doesn't like that word, and I don't really like that word either. So I'm gonna borrow shop and tell from her, and hopefully we can spread shop and tell across all of YouTube, and that would be awesome. So I wanted to do my own shop and tell, and um, this is just some projects, products, and projects that I've worked on or started on, and some things that I bought for that, and um, I just want to share those with you. So here you go. Um, I went to, first store I went to was Joanne, and um, I always go to Joanne because it's one of the only fabric stores here where I live. So um, one thing I bought is a new, uh, this is a patterning chalk wheel or whatever. And it's just a little triangle and um, you run it along your fabric and it makes a little line of chalk. I don't know if you can see that. Um, this one came with two colors. It came with white chalk and um, blue chalk and it just like pops into here where this little clear thing is. Um, these are just a couple of dollars and I like to use these for tracing patterns or making markings on my fabric and it comes off really easily and it makes a really nice fine little line. I like this better than like using tracing paper or um, a, a fabric marker or fabric pencil or anything like that just because it, well, it brushes off pretty easily. So yeah, I always have one of these and I had one of these before and I lost it and I don't know what happened to it so I bought another one. That's how much I love them. I had to buy it. I had to replace it. The other thing I bought is one of these guys here and it's falling, falling out of the, um, the sleeve. But this is a styling design ruler and it's basically a French curve. But they call it a styling design ruler. And um, these are really cool. It's a very versatile tool. Um, if you do a lot of patterning and you want to clean up your patterns to you know, make them nice or whatever, You've got your curved edge here, you've got your sleeve edge, you can use this for your curves or your hip. It even says right here, hip curves use 1 through 17, sleeve uses 13 through 26 for your armholes or whatever. Um, just a really nice way to clean up and get nice, like, pretty curved lines. Has a straight edge on here, has um, a graph right here that you can use to line up your seam allowances and that kind of thing with all kinds of different little grid. I don't know if you can tell if that's not... Let me show you the back of the box because it's the same thing on the back of the box. You can see kind of the black outline of what it is. And there's a little book in there too about how to use it and everything. But um, we had these at the costume shop at school and um, I tried to find one and I couldn't for the longest time. And then Joanne started carrying them again. So I went out and I bought one as soon as I saw it because I really like these tools. Um, the other thing I bought was just some fabric from... Um, Joanne, of course, because every time I go in there, I either come out with patterns or fabric. And I bought some brown, this is espresso, um, Kona cotton. And I'm going to make a pair of trousers for Ren Faire out of these. And I'm hoping that they don't look too um, peasanty or um, common because I don't really wear a lot of common clothing. I like to dress up fancy. But upholstery in summer in Texas is really hot. So anything I can do to um, make my costumes cooler, I try to do. So I'm gonna try to see if, how this looks with a pair of trousers. I have a uh, pattern, trouser pattern, I can't get my words out today. I have a trouser pattern that I'm gonna make this out of. And then I also bought some white uh, fabric too. And this is not Kona, this is another kind. I think it's like quilter's quality or something. And um, it's a little bit thicker than like the symphony broadcloth that they carry, but not as thick as the Kona. So I'm hoping for an undershirt, like just a plain white Renaissance shirt, poet shirt, pirate shirt, whatever you want to call it, this will be pretty good. Next, I went right next door to Joanne's because they are right next door together. I'm not even joking. They are literally, Joanne's is here and in the same shopping district, a little same strip mall, Harbor Freight is right there. And uh, if you have not been to Harbor Freight, you need to go to Harbor Freight, especially if you're like a crafter or a prop builder, you probably already know about Harbor Freight. 
But if you don't, it's kind of like the dollar store of hardware stores and it is really awesome. You can get lots of cool stuff for really inexpensively. Um, you're not going to find like name brand stuff, but you're going to find like just as good for um, what you pay for it. And uh, yeah, I love it Harbor Freight and I'm in there all the time. Uh, last week I bought a palm sander for $15. It was on sale. It's an electric palm sander. It has like the little triangle of grid. I have it out. Now it's outside. Never mind. Um, it's out in the shed. Um, but this is the box. And I bought, yeah, seriously, $15 for this. And it's great. And of course, then I bought the little replacement um, sandpapers for that. And they were like five or six bucks. So I mean, like, you know, $22, $23. And I bought a complete palm sander with replacement things for $23. I don't even think you can go to Walmart and get one for $23. Now granted, yeah, it's not a Black & Decker or a Craftsman or anything like that, but it's still a good piece of equipment. So um, if you're trying to work on a budget, way to go. Um, I also bought some standing blocks. I think I got 10 of these for like 6 or $7. Um, I'm set on standing blocks for a really long time. Um, the sanding, all the sanding project is going to be for Jack. And if you haven't seen Jack yet on my blog, you should go to my blog and I'll put a linky for it either up here or, or down below and um, to see the progress of Jack. But here's where I'm at so far. I've kind of gone in and cleaned it up, sanded it down. But this isn't really a progress vlog on Jack. Started putting the resin on the inside. I'll talk more about him later in another video. And then also I bought some chip brushes, which are just like little bamboo and... Can I open these real quick? Let me open them. I have time. But... Chip brushes are a couple, they're like, you know, 50, 60 cents a piece. And um, this is a chip brush. It's just a little one inch brush like this. I'm gonna use this for resining or painting or whatever, but I got 36 of them. Yeah, 36 for $8. That's a lot of chip brushes for a not a lot of money. So I love Harbor Freight. I'm set on chip brushes for a very long time and I've only spent, you know, maybe 40 bucks on stuff from Harbor Freight, so that's a steal. Um, they're a lot cheaper than Lowe's, a lot cheaper than um, Home Depot, and most of the other, you know, commercial mainstream uh, hardware stores. Um, then I went to Michael's and I bought some uh, poster paper. This is just, uh, yeah, this is poster plate uh, for like banners or whatever. This is 36 by 25 yards and it was $21.99. I'm going to use this to like uh, trace patterns onto or, you know, anything like that. Anything I need a big honking sheet, sheet of paper for, I got this guy. And um, tracing patterns, making patterns, drafting patterns, this is great for that. The other thing I found, and this is the last thing I think I have, it, I found it at Michael's and this is so friggin' cool. It is Mylar poster board. I did not know this stuff existed um, until I was in Michael's the other night and I found it and I bought it. It's kind of expensive. It's like six or seven dollars, maybe five, five or six dollars, maybe six, maybe seven for this one sheet. But the ideas that I can come up with to use this stuff, and it also comes in gold. This is the silver or the chrome, and it also comes in gold or brass or whatever. And it's just very cool. I mean, think of all the things you can do with it. You can do like, I don't even know, like I have, you know, you can make jewelry with it, or you know, um, you can even do like armor maybe with it. It might be kind of expensive. And if you, all you'd have to do is find a way to seal this. And you can either like laminate it maybe, or spray some kind of like glossy sealer on top. And, you know, or even, you know, coat this in like a clear resin or something like that. And then you have a nice, pretty shiny piece of something, you know, otherwise you'd have to go and get it like chrome dipped. And I think that's pretty expensive. I don't know. I haven't really looked at kind of stuff like that. So yeah, that's my shop and tell. I went shopping and I bought stuff and, um, there it is. I hope you like this video and hope I taught you some new things and if you want to see more videos like this, comment below. If you have other ideas for videos you'd like to see, also comment below. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.